Hi everyone, this is Deb with Deb in Design. Today's tutorial is uh, component, variant, and buttons. I am going to teach you how to create a button and uh, create components and variant with Figma. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. If you like it, please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So let's go to the tutorial. Okay. The first thing is creating a button. So I'm going to create a button. For example, primary uh, button. And I will change its size to like 36 and here and I will I will turn it into bold and click and frame section fill it with a color like this one Change it size to 32 or even a smaller 24 and I will zoom a bit with control and a scroll and like this and now with corner radius I change it to 10 enter and change the color to white okay active slash primary okay now i'm going to make a copy of it alt and drag and change it to secondary okay and i remove fill and add a stroke to it and change the color with eye dropper to to the exact same color and i like to make it a bit thicker and like center and I change it round it okay and close the window and I change the color to the exact same color okay and I change the name to active secondary okay now it's time for another button i'm going to change it to hover button so i change it to hover hover primary and again alt and drag hover secondary I like to uh, make it a bit darker when we hover. So change the fill and like this, I think it looks good. And here change fill to, to the exact color. And here again, change it to the same color okay again all 10 drag for press key press and primary here again press and secondary Okay, I like to add effects for pressing the keys. So 
I change it to like three and three and I will change it to 10. Okay. And again, again, add, add effects and plus button and like before, change them. Okay. And this is press button. Now we need another one uh, for disable state again. Alt and drag and Alt and drag. Sorry, Alt and drag. Okay, here write disabled. And here. Uh, sometimes some people like to gray the button and use it as a disable uh, button, but I prefer to lower the opacity instead of graying the button. So I click on the button and I come here and change the opacity to, for example, 40. Yeah. Look, this is not. 40 so you need to be careful okay and here again come here and change the opacity to 40 okay this is disable button so now i'm going to create components uh, if you look at this panel if i select all of them you can see we have uh, three options, create component, create multiple components, and create component set. Okay. Uh, but which one is our choice? Uh, I will work with all of them and you can see what is the difference. So let me make a copy of my artwork. So Alt and drag here. Okay, and Alt and drag again here. Okay, asset panel. If you look, I click on asset, and you can see I haven't created any component on this page, right? Here, if I select all of my buttons. Pay attention that all of them are frames. This is important. So, and if I come here and I click on create component, uh, if I create it, you can see it shows up. My whole uh, buttons uh, look like one component. So, if I drag it here, you can see all of them as a one component and this is not what we want so i'm going to delete it uh, so we cannot use only component for uh, some buttons if i had uh, only one button like this i could come here and select on create component and this will be my component so like this okay but right now, I won't use this solid modality. We have two other choices. If I actually uh, select all uh, my frames and come here, click on create multiple components. You can see I uh, component all of them uh, one by one. And it's good, you can see them. As you can see, let me change my picture a little bit. As you can see, I have lots of components. Okay, it's good. But uh, this is not what I'm looking for. So, if you look at this part, combine as variants. If I click on it, 
you can see what's going to happen. If you have noticed uh, here, all of my buttons became like one button, okay? And here, as you can see, this is one component one, and it's made of some other actually components inside of it. So if I click and drag my button, you can see this is my primary button. I can come here, this part, as you can see, and uh, this is primary and I can change it to like, for example, property one active to disable or to hover or to press like here, change it to secondary and active or disable. Okay, so I can choose what I want to have. Right now, I'm going to show you how I can select all of the buttons and come here and select on create component set. Last time I chose this one, now I'm going to choose create component sets. And I will click it. Yeah, if you look, it already have created variants. So I don't need to again add combine as a variant and it's itself has done this as you can see okay right now let's go to prototyping tab and i want to create some actions for my button as you have noticed so i come to prototype tab and here click primary button and drag it to while hovering smart animation here while pressing smart animation again while hovering while pressing smart animation and this is our disable button so it doesn't do anything special or you can create some pop-up that says uh, the button is disabled or something like that so now I'm going to copy one and here make a frame like this and I like to make it be at center and make another copy and I come to design and change it to secondary active as you can see i can change it from this panel okay now i come to prototype tab and flow starting point and click here as you can see while hovering the color gets darker and while pressing you can see it's changed a bit and that was today's tutorial i hope you enjoy it and thank you so much bye